as uh, all the meetings we have had, but we agreed on an agenda for the next uh, round when it does take place. Uh, the agenda is of four points that we have been discussing forever now, that I had proposed before the beginning of uh, the second round in writing to the two parties and that is that uh, uh, violence and terrorism one to the TGB three national institutions and fourth uh, national uh, 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 national reconciliation and uh, national debate. Uh, I also proposed, uh, I mean, as, as you are aware, the government side considers that the most important issue is the issue of terrorism. The opposition side considers that the most important issue is the TGB. Uh, we suggested right from the beginning that the two, two sides should reassure one another that the, their uh, pet subject, uh, and both are very, very important subjects, uh, will be discussed. So we suggested that we agree now so that we don't lose another week or 10 days as we have this time. We suggested that the first day will be reserved, will be, will be set for a discussion on violence, ending violence, and combating terrorism. And the second day would be reserved to a discussion on the TGB. It being extremely clear that one day will not be enough to finish the discussion on violence and terrorism, and one day will not be enough on discussing the TGB. Unfortunately, the government has refused, which raises the suspicion of the opposition that in fact, the government doesn't want to discuss the TGB at all. In that case, I have suggested that uh, you know, it's not good for the process, it's not good for Syria, uh, that we come back for another round and fall in the same traps that we have been uh, struggling with this week and most of uh, the first round. So I think it is, it is better that uh, every side goes back and reflect and take their responsibility. Do they want this process to take place or not? I will do the same. I will go and speak to the Secretary General I think that uh, we need also to discuss with our partners in the trilateral, uh, hopefully through a meeting between Ban Ki-moon, John Kerry, and uh, Sergei Lavrov. And also, I think I will, I, at some point, I will also brief the, uh, the P5 and the Security Council as a whole. Uh, I'm very, very sorry, and I apologize to the Syrian people uh, that uh, their hopes, which were very, very high that something will happen here, I think that you know, what has been, the little that has been achieved in Homs gave them even more hope that uh, 
maybe this is the beginning of uh, the coming out of this horrible crisis they are in. I apologize to them that uh, on these two rounds we haven't helped, the, helped them very much. I very, very much hope that the two sides will reflect and uh, think a little bit better and come back ready to engage seriously on how to implement the Geneva Communique. Uh, in Geneva Communique is not uh, something an end in itself. The Geneva Communique helps the two sides and us sitting between them to start the long uh, road towards ending this crisis. So I hope that uh, this uh, time of reflection will uh, lead the government side in particular to reassure the other side that when they speak of implementing the, the uh, uh, Geneva Communique, they do mean uh, that a TGB exercising full executive powers will be the main objective to form. Of course, uh, ending the violence, combating terrorism is extremely important, indispensable. Uh, but I think the, 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 uh, you know, every side has to be convinced that, yes, we are going to implement all the uh, elements in the in the TGV, in the communique. As I told you, I'm, uh, I, I, I'll see with the Secretary General when it's the best time for me to go and see him. Um, I'm sure that the parties are going to see their respective principals and leaders, and uh, we will hear from one another in the not too distant future. I hope. Thank you very much for your attention. Yeah. We are going to start with uh, Diana. Diana. Oui. Bonjour, donc en français. Good morning, uh, Diana Jadan, uh, Sana Paris. Everybody in this room, Mr. Brahimi, knows that the Syrian delegation gets the orders uh, from the government in Syria. You, as mediator of the United Nations and special envoy for Syria, you know, of course, the reference for each delegation. Can you please tell us what is the reference for the opposition and who does the opposition get its orders from? Mr. Ibrahimi, why don't you ask them? Thank you, Mr. Brahimi. Um, at this moment, sir, what, what is your message to Mr. Assad? Um, I don't have any message for Mr. Assad as a man. My message to everybody who is involved in this terrible crisis is uh, to think of the Syrian people, to think of the immense suffering that has been imposed, that has been imposed on the Syrian people, the destruction that has taken place in, in, in Syria, um, and to think of what anyone can contribute to pull Syria out of the ditch in which it has fallen. Yes, BBC right here? Yeah. Yeah. Please take the microphone. Mr. Akhtar Ibrahimi, I am Asaf Abud, BBC. My question today in this last meeting is there a clearer vision regarding the third session, the dates? Let us assume uh, nothing is certain, but will it be in a short period of time or in a long period of time? With the passing time, we see more victims in Syria. Mr. Ibrahimi, yes, of course, people are dying. The country is uh, being destroyed. We need, if this 
track aims at uh, helping the Syrian people, then of course, the faster we achieve uh, tangible results, the better. However, I believe, uh, as I have clarified, everybody needs to go back to their base, and we will contact each other to determine uh, the coming date. It is not clear, says Mr. Ali Brahimi. From the New York Times, if you don't get a firm commitment from both delegations to engage on the agenda that you've outlined mm -hmm. in the next few days. Will there be a third round, or will you come back with another agenda? Um, I, I don't know. I think the agenda, at least we have agreed on an agenda. Uh, but we have also to agree on how we tackle that agenda. Um, so um, I don't know uh, what. Uh, I, I very much hope that there will be a third round. So the you, earlier, the better. You said they'd agreed, you'd agreed an agenda, but you said the government had, had not agreed. I'm not clear. They, did they agree to they commit agreed to talks on TGB? Uh, they haven't agreed that what they say. I'm sure that they will explain to you that much better than I do. Uh, but what I think they have said is that they want first to arrive to some understanding on the first point before they will ever speak about the second. And what I have been telling them is that the other side ha are very suspicious uh, that they, in fact, do not want to discuss the TGB. And that, to reassure them, why don't we have one day on the, the violence and uh, terrorism and the second day? And then, you know, things will be simpler. Uh, they have refused to, uh, that. Yes, I will take uh, Khaled over there. Yes, Al Jazeera Net. Uh, please, could you confirm or uh, not uh, what was said yesterday about the Russian proposal to create four working groups, uh, each working group uh, uh, to speak of one of the items of the agenda? Mr. Librahimi, I have not heard any of this. Yes, please. Uh, sorry, I haven't understood one thing, because you said that in the third round, the first day it will be violence and terrorism, the second day it will be a transitional government body, and now you say that uh, official delegation refused this agenda. So is it refused or, or not? No, they have accepted the agenda, point one, point two, point three, point four. The, the manner in which the this will be addressed. That is what they have rejected. Okay. And last question. Last question over there. Yes, the gentleman in blue. Yes. Nouridine Bouzian. Nouridine Bouzian from Al Jazeera. Please correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Ibrahimi. You, you are never wrong, says Mr. Ibrahimi. Uh, felt a certain bitterness in your voice, uh, and we understand the message addressed to the Syrian people after the negotiations yesterday with the Russians and Americans. Uh, do you still have faith uh, that they can uh, put pressure on both parties, and maybe the Security Council can force them to negotiate? And uh, what uh, could possibly happen, and could Lakhdar Ibrahimi uh, threaten uh, to resign? Mr. Ibrahimi. I believe that the Russians and the Americans are uh, the partners of the United Nations and important uh, members of the Security Council. There is no doubt, and I have said repeatedly, that the United Nations, the Russian Federation, and the United States, uh, none of them can turn a blind eye to this huge crisis in Syria. Therefore. Of course, there will be work between the UN and uh, these two countries. We wish to expand uh, the circle, and we always work on expanding the circle in order to deal with this uh, big uh, crisis. Thank you very much.